the Boardman House has watched over the park since 1866, when it was built by village president George McChain, and it's been at the center of Ithaca's civic life ever since. In 1884, the house became home to Judge Douglas Boardman, the first dean of the Cornell Law School. After the turn of the century, Judge Boardman's widow sold the house to the Ithaca Conservatory of Music, and when the conservatory later became Ithaca College, the Boardman House became the administrative center for the urban campus. After the college moved to its New South Hill campus in 1960, most of the old downtown buildings were destroyed as sacrifices to urban renewal. Boardman House alone was saved to begin a new life as an office building and a symbol of the community's new commitment to preserving its historic buildings. Among the old-timers standing in DeWitt Park, Halsey House claims seniority. It dates from 1820, when it was known as the Beebe House, for its owner, Jeremiah Beebe, who also owned the Fall Creek Mill managed by Ezra Cornell. A decade later, Jeremiah Beebe and his partners would build a fine hotel just two blocks up Cuga Street, and they would call it the Clinton House. Officially opened in 1831, the Clinton House still stands as Ithaca's most prominent architectural landmark. Many an admirable building displays the Greek Revival style that was popular in that age, but none makes so grand a statement as the Clinton House. In its heyday, the Clinton House was regarded as the most luxurious inn to be found between New York City and Buffalo. A century and a half and three major renovations later, the Clinton House has emerged with a new and appropriate identity. Today it is the headquarters of Historic Ithaca, an organization so dedicated to saving old buildings that it bought this one for itself. The upper floors provide offices and a prestige address for businesses and professionals. The main floor is the domain of the DeWitt Historical Society. The rooms it occupies include the former lobby, now a reception area and gift shop. Public rooms that were once the settings for glittering social events now shed a different kind of light as the galleries of the DeWitt Museum. The museum's most striking feature is surely the great mural in the mural lounge. And whether you view it as art or as artifact, you don't have to be an expert to appreciate it. But it helps to have one along. It was painted by James Owen Mahoney, better known as J.O. Mahoney, who was a professor of art at Cornell. And it shows um, Ithaca College and Cornell students. And they partied a lot. And then in the middle we have uh, the city. The, the buildings over there are Cornell, and then the ones right behind me are city buildings, a lot of which are gone now. That looks suspiciously like Clinton House immediately. It me. is, and when Mr. Saperstone ran the bar here, he always kept his best bottle of scotch in front of it and took great pride in that. 